Welcome back viewers. Thanks for tuning in again to Texas Precision Shooter. Before we get started, I need to make a correction. Last time I referenced Alamo Precision Rifles and the awesome build that they put together for me, I did mess up their website. Their website is aprifles.com. Make sure to check them out. They'll put you together a really solid precision rifle build. Moving on, today on my channel we're going to talk about the Eberly Stock Gunslinger 2 pack. This pack has been updated a few times. I believe this is the best that Eberly Stock has come out with so far. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it and why I like it myself. As you can see, I didn't show it to you as you're going to get it out of the box. I want to show you how I use it, what it does for me, and why I like it. The biggest thing about this pack that I can say is that it allows me to carry my full length precision rifle in a pack, as well as many other things that I like to use, whether I'm at a competition, I'm out in the field hunting, or just out at my buddy's deer lease shooting whatever we decide to shoot. <laughs> anyway, let me get into some of the details of this pack and tell you why I like it. First of all, the rifle scabbard is built into this pack on the back side of the pack, as you can see right here. It's closest to your body, so it minimizes the weight that you feel when carrying a heavy rifle. It's really cool the way this works. It has two buckles. You undo these buckles. You can pull out the hood. Right? I'll show you a little bit of the hood right here. And the hood will actually go over the back side of your stock to protect the butt of your stock from the weather. So before you do any of this, the first thing you need to do is undo this buckle right here. Okay? You undo this buckle and you pull out the bottom side of the pack. It looks like this. It has a nice zipper on it to clean out if you get anything in there. But this is where the muzzle end of your rifle should go. You could carry it both ways if you wanted to. But I usually carry it muzzle down. So in carrying it muzzled down, the butt of your stock is going to be hanging out of the top. And that's what the hood is for. The hood will protect the butt of your stock from the weather and the elements. And it's a really good feature that they put into this pack. On the front of the pack, it has a nice big organizer pouch. I use it to carry my rifle data book right here, which I believe everybody should have. And I intend to do a video on data books coming up in the future and kind of what I like in them and why it helps me out. But in this organizer, it's got places for pins, all sorts of goodies. Um, I carry some spare uh, hex keys where you never know when you're going to need to readjust your scope. So that's that part of the pack. <clears throat> to open it up, it's got a couple of different options. I normally undo the clips on the front, fold the front of it over. You can fold the back of it down. And you have two retention straps, so if you have a lot of stuff in there, it makes it easy to compress your pack so it's not wobbling around on you. If you undo these two retention straps, you get to the main compartment. And the main compartment has a big zipper, two zippers actually, with tabs on them. You pull the zippers, you rip it open, and there's all of your contents. Getting back to the pack. So what I put in the pack, I have a bunch of plastic bags. You could use waterproof bags, it would probably be better, but I had Ziplocs. I numbered them with numbers on them, so in case I'm telling my buddy, hey, I need some out of number four, he knows which one I'm looking at. So I have a bunch of packs in here. I got a couple of uh, range bags, gun cleaning kit, snake bite kit. Of course, in Texas, we need a snake bite kit. But anyway, back to the pack. So it's really easy to open, lay it down on the ground, rip it open, it's good to go. Use the two tabs, zip it back up. Put your retention straps back on. I can't find it. Grab your top, your buckles on the bottom, put it back together, and you're ready to rock. Now this has molly gear all over it. I put an ammo bag on the bottom to carry my boxes of ammo, a couple of extra on the top from tab gear. This is really cool when attaching the packs. As far as the sides go, it's got two big pouches on the side for water bottles. I keep my sunglasses in one of them. It works really good for my Wiley X's. I also have a radio pouch because that's where I shoot. Sometimes me and my buddies like to communicate with VHF radios. So I put a radio pouch on the side, a pocket knife. <clears throat> on the other side is probably the most important part of this pack is your medical kit. It's got molly going all on the side so I put a really solid medical kit on the side. This other patch <laughs> pouch I don't use for a water bottle. I have a hydration bladder in here and it does have a pouch for that as well. I keep my little range finder here in the side pouch. It works really well. It's easy to get to when you're wearing it. 
As far as the front of the pouch, the back, as far as the front of the bag goes and adjustability, it's got a lot of options. The strap, the cummerbund that goes around your waist, also has Molly on it. I have on the front magazine pouches for my uh, precision rifle. So they're real easy to access right in front. On the other side, I have my weather meter pouch and a flashlight. Good things to have out in the field. As far as adjustability goes, the, the shoulder straps are adjustable. You undo these two pieces of Velcro right here, move it up or move it down, and you're good to go if you're tall or short or anywhere in the middle. As far as the waist goes, these straps here are adjustable for the waist. If you're a smaller guy or drank a few too many beers, you should be good to go as far as the waist adjustments. This is kind of a heavy pack, empty, but it does everything that I need it to do. It's pretty solid. So go to Everly Socks website, check them out, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you have one. And make sure you subscribe to my page, Texas Precision Shooter, and we'll see you guys at the range.